My name is David Kaufman. I'm a photographer of the urban landscape and of architecture, primarily. I've been photographing architecture-based images since 1984. This work uh, is from 1985 to 1989, mostly with two pictures from last year, and it's of various Montreal uh, buildings that I found interesting for various reasons. Right behind me you see a number of residential images of Montreal. Now the most striking thing about Montreal residential architecture are the exterior staircases which uh, stretch from the sidewalk and twirl around up to the second floor. The only other place in the world that has similar staircases are in some residential buildings in, in uh, Edinburgh actually, in Scotland. Many of the residential buildings for workers had no hot running waters, so Montreal went on a program of building public baths in the 1900s and then during the Depression. Uh, Marius Dufresne built an elaborate Beaux-Arts public bath in the year 1914 for the city of Maisonneuve. It's a beautiful Beaux-Arts building, really striking in its uh, de decoration. The most beautiful bath, public bath in all of Montreal. In the same year that Marius Dufresne built a beautiful Beaux-Arts public bath for the city of Maisonneuve, he also built a modernist fire hall inspired by the work of Frank Lloyd Wright. Dufresne actually cribbed the design of the horizontal structure and added a vertical fire tower uh, which was used to dry fire, hose, fire hoses in those days because fire hoses were made of hemp and if they weren't dried they would rot. Now Montreal has a tremendous heritage of industrial buildings and there are four or five examples of those buildings in this show. We have a photograph of warehouses on the Rue de la Commune. Today they're condos and hotels and offices. We also have a photograph of the last iron frame building in Montreal which was the Ives and Allen Company building built in 1872 downtown on Queen Street just off Wellington Avenue in Montreal. That building was destroyed about 10 years ago, but it was the last iron frame building in Montreal where the entire structure is being held by an external frame made of iron. Uh, we also have in this uh, exhibition, there's a photograph of a textile mill built in the late 1880s by the Merchant Cotton Company. Uh, it was taken over in 1904 by Dominion Textile, and it was the largest textile plant in Montreal. It employed mostly women, uh, and it became the site of very important and historic organizing strikes uh, to organize textile workers into unions. Another industrial photo in this exhibition is a picture of the last remaining grain elevator that was built in Montreal on the western part of the harbor front uh, before the year 1910. The portion we see in my photograph is a metal grain elevator built for the Grand Trunk railway around 1905 or 1906. The whole structure is part metal, part concrete. Concrete was a material that was used mostly later for grain elevators. The elevator is a half kilometer long. It contains 206 individual grain silos and it's one of the biggest structures like this in the entire world. Unlike Toronto, Montreal is actually preserved uh, a great uh, majority of its historic buildings. One of the most impressive is the Montreal City Hall, which was built in the 1870s in Second Empire style. Uh, Second Empire style is, is from the Napoleonic era in France and of course was embraced by Quebec because of its French heritage. The headquarters for the Bank of Montreal on Place d'Armes was built in 1846. It was inspired by a building built as a headquarters for the Bank of Scotland in 1838 in Edinburgh. The directors of the Bank of Montreal, many of whom were Scottish of Scottish origin, wanted a similar building and they hired a British architect who was living in Montreal to erect for them a neoclassical building. It's still the legal headquarters of the Bank of Montreal, extremely beautiful both on the inside and the outside. My name is David Kaufman. I'm a photographer of architecture and the urban landscape. I've been doing this work since 1984.